story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Ha! Got he! Got he! Hi, my name's Theo. <laughs> my name's Teddy. My name's Haley. And, and we, we have, have narcolepsy. narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a neurological disorder that affects the control of sleep and wakefulness. Over age. Katie, wake up! Patients that have narcolepsy sleep a normal amount but they can't control when they fall asleep. Narcolepsy is caused by a deficiency of the production of hypocrine in the brain! When I was 15, I was diagnosed with narcolepsy, but usually you're diagnosed between 10 and 25. And when I have a narcolepsy attack, I immediately go into REM sleep. Physical exam and exhaustive medical history are used to diagnose narcolepsy along with a polysomnogram and multiple sleep latency tests. That's a too fast. Narcolepsy isn't related to other disorders that may cause abnormal sleep patterns. Also, sleep attacks may result in physical harm to my fellow narcoleps and I. Oh, Theo. What a narcolept. Also, narcoleps love slime! Sleep attacks usually last a few seconds to several minutes, and the condition is lifelong. Um, a clinical examination <laughs> and exhaustive medical history is essential for proper diagnosis and treatment. Narcolepsy is associated with a specific type of human lycocyte antigen, HLA. Um, the high levels of HLA is what proposed the idea that narcolepsy is an autoimmune disease, similar to other HLA diseases such as multiple sclerosis. Narcolepsy has high levels of antibodies to a marker ASO, which indicates a recent bacterial infection like strep throat. Um, the H1N1 disease and a special H1N1 vaccine can cause a rare trigger to the disease. Uh, narcolepsy is commonly misdiagnosed for insomnia or depression and is the only disease to have cataplexy as a symptom. Narcolepsy is caused by the loss of brain neurotransmitters called hypocretin. Environmental factors may also play a role in the development of narcolepsy. Where am I? really bright outside. <laughs> Symptoms include excessive sleepiness, cataplexy, hallucinations, some nightmares, some leg spasms and other bad things that I don't like to have. For treatments, I take short scheduled naps, but I could also go to behavioral therapy or I could use various medicine such as stimulants, antidepressants, sodium oxybate, or even a drug called Xyrem. 
to manage narcolepsy, avoid use, using nicotine and alcohol. Also try and exercise at least 20 minutes per day, four to five hours before you go to bed. One in 3,000 Americans has narcolepsy. And a total of 25% of the U.S. population has a genetic marker for it. But only 1 in 500 of those car carriers will actually develop it. If you have a family member who has narcolepsy, that rate increases 20 to 40 times. People with narcolepsy are twice as likely to become overweight. And only 25% of people with narcolepsy ever receive treatment. Also, People with narcolepsy are susceptible to getting hallucinations during sleep or while falling asleep or waking up. <sighs> what a beautiful day to be awake.